What's going on everybody? It is Jay Wilson and today I'm bringing you a comparison video on what we all thought was the same product. Now, if you end up enjoying this video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and leave a comment which one you prefer or what do you use to dechlorinate your water? And also hit that, you know, notification bell so you can be notified on videos just like this one. Now, we all do water changes, well most of us, and we all do them at different intervals, right? And we all use different products because there are a lot out there to dechlorinate and some maybe don't use them, but this video can still be informational. Today we're gonna to be talking about the difference between Prime and Safe from Seachem. Which one works better? Which one you prefer, or should I say I prefer, and which one you should use in which scenario? Yeah, because they both, although do very similar things, they also do a couple of different things that could be the difference in saving some fish or potentially losing some fish. You ready? Well, all right, so first out of the gate is gonna be Prime. Prime is named Prime for a specific reason. It's the prime additive to water conditioning. I mean, at least I'm making that up. But Seachem's got a cool, cool slogan. It's, you add water, we'll do the rest. And if you've got Prime, and if you've ever used Prime, do me a favor, let me know in the comments. You'll know what I'm about to say, and maybe some things will be brand new for you. Prime is recommended really for aquariums 50 to 100 gallons. And you can still use them on other aquariums, but that's its recommended size aquariums. The other cool thing is it doesn't expire. It helps promote slime coat and it takes care of heavy metals in your water. But wait, that's not all. The other neat part about it is one standard dose of Prime the federal maximum, not the minimum, the maximum of chlorine and chloramine. That's pretty sweet. Now remember, it also takes care of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. But the neat part is, is it doesn't completely remove them. It almost renders them inert, but leaves them there for up to 48 hours so that bacteria can consume them. But what bacteria? Autotrophic bacteria. They love ammonia and Prime will make sure that that bacteria gets exactly what it needs. So that's pretty neat. The other cool part is you could dose this up to five times the amount. <laughs> we should, that's a lot of cool stuff. So let's recap. It doesn't expire. 50 to 100 gallons recommended. By the federal maximum of chlorine and chloramine and it will take care of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate on top of the other two. And then on it, it helps promote a slime coat for your fish, which is basically their exoskin to protect them from potential issues. And it messes with heavy metals, taking them out of your water supply. That's pretty cool. And with the five times the amount of dose, you'll know that your pretty much in the zone, just in case your water municipality is just spreading all of the things that it does randomly throughout the year. And you won't have a problem because you can keep prime underneath your aquarium for, well, I guess as long as you're keeping aquariums. So that's pretty cool. Is there something that you didn't know about prime that I just talked about? If so, leave it down in the comments. But another cool thing that you'll find at the end of this video is some graphs and then in the description all of the information that i just provided to you will also be there so this way you can go back anytime and check that out along with some links so seachem prime i don't know why i don't use this as much all right so a product that i've used a lot keeping aquariums is seachem's safe and i've got some information that i've learned that i didn't know and well i'm hoping that it could be of use to you but I always thought that Safe was just basically the powdered version of Prime and well, it does the same things. Wrong. It's actually formulated differently. And that's the reason why this is dry and the other is in a liquid form. Now remember, this is gonna be for aquariums over 
100 gallons, but you can use it in any of your aquariums. That's just the recommended. But there's some things that I didn't know that we'll get to in a moment that SAFE does, but you have to do it in a different way, which is, I know it sounds funny, but it will remove ammonia, it will remove nitrite, it will remove nitrate, and it leaves the ammonia present for bacteria, that autotrophic bacteria, so it's a matchup right there. But it doesn't promote a slime coat in your fish. And it's not gonna take care of the heavy metals in your water. And one standard dose of this is not going to take care of the federal maximum of chlorine and chloramine. But this is where it gets really interesting. There's two separate dosing instructions. There's dosing instructions for the chlorine and chloramine, and then there's the ammonia dosage. The cool part is, is if you do the ammonia dosage, it will take care of that federal maximum. But if you didn't know that and you were just doing the standard dose of SAFE, you weren't going to get the same effect of that federal maximum of chlorine and chloramine. And it doesn't expire. And I've got lots of charts at the end, so let's recap. Because that wasn't much, was it? It doesn't expire. You can safely dose it four times the ammonia amount, unlike five times of prime. It doesn't mess with heavy metals in terms of taking them out. It doesn't promote slime coat. It does take care of ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, which is great. Leaves them for the bacteria, as we talked about. And um, you have to do two separate dosing in order to take care of the federal maximum of chlorine and chloramine. So, I mean, if you don't know your water municipality and how they do things as stated prior, you might as well just dose the ammonia dosage in order to make sure you're taking care of those things and keeping up with the best water quality for your fish. That's safe. Hmm. Well, let's talk about my thoughts. So they're both in the flesh, prime safe. You can't go wrong with safe or prime. If you have them under your aquarium, you're doing fantastic because, well, they're gonna be there forever or until you use them and purchase more. No, there are no links to purchase it. But what's really neat is if you keep prime on hand, I don't know, that, that all-in-one water conditioner taking care of everything. The federal maximum, right? Chlorine, chloramine, five times you can dose it takes care of heavy metals, it's good for 50 to 100 gallon aquariums. I mean, that's the suggestion and most of us are keeping roughly that, and you can go bigger. But this bottle treats 2,500 US gallons. It's a 250 milliliter bottle or eight and a half fluid ounces. SAFE does all of it, except the slime coat production and the heavy metals and there's two different dosing which can get complicated and it's a powder so you have to make sure you're measuring properly but this 250 gram jar does 60,000 US gallons and doesn't expire I don't know you can't go wrong using either of these but if I had to choose right now I'm gonna choose safe I've been using it, I know how it works, and I know the different dosing instructions if I need it. And it lasts for 60,000 gallons. But if you're somebody that's not good with measuring, not good with dosing, and not good at paying attention to what is happening in terms of your specific parts per million or your local water supply, then absolutely Prime is 100% the best way to go for you. Well, I hope you got enough information from this talking about prime versus safe and who's better. I think really who's better is what's better for you, right? What's better for your aquarium, for your needs? They're both going to do it. Some do it a little bit better, but do you need that little bit better? Some last a little bit longer. Well, it really comes down to what your needs are. Just like everything else in life, you have to take care of you. You have to do you. And what that means is not forget everyone else. So not to not know about other products that are out there, but more importantly, know that which product is going to suit all of your needs for most of your aquarium hobby.
your aquarium job, your life, your business, whatever it is. So yeah, make sure you're taking care of you and the things that are around you and you probably won't have as many problems if you didn't take care of yourself. So play it safe and stay in the prime. And uh, yeah, that was, I don't know where I was going. I'll see you on the next one. You know what's next. Holla!